Assalamu alaikum students, this is Farwa Batool, your O-level computer science instructor and welcome to another video. In this video, I will be talking about verification and its types. We are already done with data validation and its types before and I have also shared some of the examples with you related to the book. Now, in this video, we will talk about data verification in detail. So, let me introduce that what a data verification means. It is basically a process of checking the data that is entered by a user. And what you have to check? You have to check the accuracy of the data. Of the input data. What is the accuracy? Accuracy means that the data entered by the user must be correct. It must not have any mistake in it. Let's suppose I'm taking an example over here. In a computer system, a user has to enter its phone number. The phone number. And we all know that phone number is such a field in which if you make one mistake, the whole data is going to change. Let's suppose I have a phone number that is 0301-211-4317. But by mistake, when I enter the phone number, instead of 1, I write 2. So when I make such a mistake, my whole data is going to change. So it will be a big problem. That's why in certain cases, it is very, very important to, to check that the data entered by the user must be entered correctly. Now there are two important methods that are used for data verification. In your book, the first method that is being defined is the double entry method. Okay. In a double entry method, how a user is going to see that he has entered the correct data. Basically, in this method, you are going to take the input two times. Let's suppose you take the email of the user as an input. So, you will be telling the user that please confirm email as well. In this way, he has to enter the same data twice. And when the user enters the data, now the program is going to check that if both the data matches or not. And if there is some mismatching in the data, then a user will get a message that your data is different. In this way, the user will come to know that he is making some mistake while entering the data. So, the double entry method of data verification helps the user to check the data at the run time when he enters into the system. Same goes for the password. Let's suppose a user is setting some password for his account. So for the first time, he will be asked to enter the password two times. So there must not be any mistake in the data. When the user enters the same password two times, the system is going to check if both the password matches or not. And if both the data does not match, then the user will get a message that your data is not matching. Please enter the same data or the correct that data. So this is a runtime uh, verification of the data that is seen by the user and the user is going to correct it before the data is being entered into the system. Now, this is one way of verification of data. The other way is a screen or visual check. Now, the second method that is a screen or visual check. 
This is very important. Why? Because let me give you an example. Let's, let's suppose your friend. You have to send some money to your friend. So your friend sends you a message. And in the message, he sends you the account number. Okay. So now, let's suppose the account number is 0114312978211. Let's suppose. Now, this is something he sent you in a message. And then, when you will transfer the amount, you are going to transfer the some amount into his account. Then, what you will do, you will open the banking application. And inside that, you will be adding the name, account name, the account number. And when you will add the account number, so you will be copying the data from one place to the other. And while copying the data from one place to other, maybe you will make some mistake. And if you make a single mistake, it will be very, very difficult for you. Why? Why? Because let's suppose you are sending your friend 25,000 rupees. So that amount will be received by someone else. Why? Because the account number has a mistake in it. One digit is being changed while entering. So it's a big problem. So in order to avoid that, the banking application uses a screen or visual check method. What is that? This method basically says that once the user enter all the data, necessary information to transfer the money, then you are or the application is supposed to show the user or display the user all of the data again that what he has entered. Let's suppose he entered the name Farwa. So Farwa will be displayed on the screen. The account number 43129782211 and also the amount 25,000 rupees. So once you finish entering the data and you say next, then all of your data will be visible to you, will be displayed to you. So you can check that, yes, I have entered the same data. And while you are checking, you can see that the mistake is here. I have entered instead of one, I have entered two in my account number. So when you recognize your mistake, you go back and you change the account number. And once you do that, once you change the account number and you make your data correct, then you can press the confirm button so that your money is going to be transferred. So it's a very simple and very easy method. And what this method says, it says that please display the user the data that he has entered before the further processing. So it is being followed in so many places. When the user enters the data, then the same data is going to be displayed on the other screen so that the user can check. Yes, this is the data that I have entered just now and then the user confirms it after checking so this is what we call the screen or visual check that you check from your eyes that yes this this, this is the data i have entered and then i confirm that yes now i need the further processing with the data or now the system can save my data into the system or into some application, wherever in the database he wants to save. Okay, 
So this is how you verify your data by using the second method screen or visual check. And the first one was the data entry. I hope that verification and its types are clear to you. It is pretty simple. But still, if you have some questions, you can ask me um, in the comments. Definitely, I'm going to answer you there. Stay tuned, stay connected. And in the next video, we will be starting test data. That is a very, very important topic. Stay tuned, stay connected. Do not forget to subscribe the channel. Bye-bye.